welcome to ILTV's Evening Update. I'm Natasha Kirchek here with the latest news from Israel. If there's one thing that unifies Israelis across a political spectrum, it's the Iranian nuclear threat. Even opposition leader Isaac Herzog has said that there's no daylight between him and Prime Minister Netanyahu when it comes to Iran. And the latest disclosure from the U.S. Director of National Intelligence Daniel Coates is cause for concern. Coates has just announced to Congress that Iran is making great strides in developing intercontinental ballistic missiles that could deliver nuclear weapons over huge distances. Iranian military leaders are claiming their missile work has nothing to do with the nuclear agreement, but the U.S. intelligence community's judgment is that ballistic missiles would be Iran's chosen method for delivering nuclear weapons. The intelligence community is also concerned that Iran might use intercontinental ballistic missiles as a deterrent to the U.S. Iran claims to have successfully tested a missile with a range of 2,000 kilometers, which would be enough to strike Israel. The CJPOA that former President Barack Obama signed does not prohibit Iran from developing ballistic missiles. Former Israeli Defense Minister Moshe Yalon says that he has absolutely no doubt that Prime Minister Netanyahu is guilty of corruption. Yalon, who was forced out of office last year, has testified to the police on the submarine affair. Along with others, he alleges that Netanyahu's lawyer lobbied for multi-billion dollar submarine purchases on behalf of a German client. Yalon is saying if the prime minister is not indicted, he will publicly reveal all the information he has given to the police. Netanyahu's people are clapping back against Yalon, pointing out that Netanyahu is not a suspect in the submarine case. And they're saying Yalon should find another way to pass the electoral threshold. Ouch. But even if Netanyahu isn't being investigated here, there are two ongoing police investigations centered around him. There are allegations that he's been receiving large gifts from prominent businessmen over the years, and Netanyahu may have offered Israeli paper Yeidot Achonot a tit-for-tat deal, promising to hurt their rival Israel Hayom in exchange for less negative coverage. An Israeli settler and Palestinian are being detained following an incident in the West Bank that ended in a shooting. The IDF reports that a Palestinian was throwing rocks at an Israeli driver, and the Israeli driver stopped his car, pursued the Palestinian, and shot him. The Palestinian is being treated for moderate injuries in an Israeli hospital. As of now, the shooter, a passenger in his car, and the Palestinian are all being detained. The settler's attorney is arguing that the shooting following the rock attack constitutes self-defense. In 2013, there were more than 2,400 Palestinian rock-throwing attacks, resulting in 116 civilian injuries. And since the UN Security Council passed a resolution against Israeli settlements in December, rock attacks have been on the rise. Fortunately, this incident hasn't resulted in any casualties. Tensions are simmering under the surface between the U.S. and Israel following reports that U.S. President Donald Trump compromised an Israeli spy undercover in the Islamic State. According to the New York Times, Israel was a source of the highly classified information that Trump disclosed to the Russian foreign minister. And ABC News is reporting that as a result, an Israeli spy's life is in danger. The spy allegedly gave his handlers information about Islamic State plans to blow up U.S.-bound passenger planes with laptop bombs. Former Mossad director Daniel Tom is saying that Israel will think twice before conveying very sensitive information to the Trump administration. However, if America shows more tact with intel, there will be no issues. Meanwhile, Defense Minister Avigdor Lieberman is saying that security relations between the U.S. and Israel are unprecedented in their scope. Prime Minister Netanyahu and President Trump have spoken on the phone recently, but have refrained from discussing the leak. Instead, they've been discussing Trump's upcoming visit to Israel. The trip is not without controversy either, following ambiguous comments from Trump's U.S. national security advisor on the Western Wall. If you're going outdoors in Israel this spring, you should know how to watch out for the indigenous Palestine viper, or Tsefa in Hebrew. The exceedingly dangerous snake, which awakens from the cold in April and May, hides in rocks, bushes, and grasses and logs by the water. But if you're a lucky cameraman in the Jezreel Valley, you might catch the viper in flagrant delicto. An Israeli outdoorsman has captured some steamy footage of a pair of Palestine vipers in the throes of passion, performing an intricate mating dance. If you squint, it looks like the snake staff of the Greek god Hermes, but better give these lovers some space that Sefa packs a serious punch with a painful venomous bite, although it's not usually fatal. Still, nobody likes to be interrupted. That's all for now. Stay tuned on ILTV.TV for our main daily broadcast playing after this. I'm Natasha Kirchuk, and see you next time with our morning briefing from Israel at 8 a.m. Eastern Time.